Today we are looking at a deadly fungus outbreak in Washington state. Break this mm -hmm. down for us. Yeah, this is a particular, a, a newer type of fungus called Candida auris, uh, first reported out of Japan in 2009. By the way, it's Candida, not Candida. A lot of people mispronounce that, but you know, that class of yeast, of fungus, well known, common, this particular kind, Oris, you know, different strain, different family of yeast, much more likely to affect patients who are hospitalized and with compromised immune systems, also sick with other conditions that put them at greater risk. But it has a very high mortality rate, and we don't have a lot of antifungal medications in the pipeline or that work against this newer, more resistant, more deadly type of fungus. So I think we have to remember when you talk about microbiology, infectious diseases, there's viruses. Mm -hmm. We've certainly heard a lot about that in the last four years. There's bacteria, there's parasites, and there's fungus. And if this spreads from a local infection to your bloodstream, to organ systems, uh, fungal infections are bad actors. Mm. So how can you protect yourself? Well, I think when you hear this headline, remember it's, it's big picture awareness. The same way we don't like to overuse antibiotics because of bacterial resistance, same thing with fungal medications. We don't wanna use them inappropriately so that fungus then develops resistance to what we have. But then when you talk about in the community, Fungus likes to breed yeah. and grow in moist, dark places, so keep things dry. And when you're going to the gym, wear those flip-flops. Say that again. <laughs> Say it louder for the people in the back. Doctor, thank That's you. It. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.